Hey everyone, this is the part 2 of the uh, modification of the ORI Finding Commander 4. Last time we saw everything uh, on the electronic and on the uh, button. Now we're going to see for the D-pad. So, just to explain how the original D-pad is, it's basically all those parts. I'm still missing the membrane which is going on the top of that. So, you've got the, let's call that the cross solder. PCB behind that and the membrane of course which I don't have right now the cross is not going to be in the right position because it's missing uh, the, the membrane you've got on the top of that or on the bottom the uh, support and then on top of that you get this red holder like that with screws on the back and basically this is how it's working you got the spring a big spring on the bottom to maintain to maintain everything so my first goal was to replace that with um, the same system as the lever uh, on the joystick so I first start with trying to copy the um, Diamond from the Microsoft uh, Xbox One Elite uh, controller uh, because I think it's a really a nice uh, thumb uh, holder and uh, you have like access to the corner really easily but unfortunately it didn't work because the um, it's really easy to uh, make the the diamond spinning you know and this is more what I've tried to do. So this is the same, uh, let's say, uh, half spherical support, and you put that into this kind of 3D part, and you get the lever action. So basically, it was su supposed to be something like that. You get this part here, as you can see, it's spin easily. We have this part here, the uh, shaft and the D-pad of the di uh, diamond pad. And then you will have the bottom. And the goal is when you press up down, it make the lever action. But there are a mechanical problem with that. I would, uh, Pick uh, a real joystick. I was trying to explain uh, you. So this is a, a metal plate from Madcat's Tihi, and uh, what is important is this. This is a support. So I don't have any Sanwa right now uh, to explain, but I will have a cheap one uh, from a really a cheap uh, joystick so just to explain uh, what's going on. So you get here the small half. Uh, spherical which is supposed to be something like that you know the same shape and again you get like this the support here which is like that so when you put the lever inside you get the rotation and the lever action where you put your uh, micro switch the thing is if you check on the profile you see like this part is really really deep. This this side was really up. So if you put that into this kind of thing, you get the thickness, of the fixation. So it doesn't matter how high you're going to push because with the um, the dust cover. It's always flat, but when you have, when you have something like that inside, when you press, you get really high there and really low that. And if you put something like that a cover on the top, you have to have enough high to handle when you press. So you end up with a really high piece here 
and you don't have really much movement also when you try to press down you're going to hit the support so and the matter of fact I'm really uh, limited on the lever action so on the last prototype I went back to uh, the cross of the d-pad I haven't tried to make some shaft longer because if I have not too much movement maybe I could put the um, micro switch lower so I uh, will have like a larger radius uh, with the, the same kind of piece as you can see I will try to hold that like, like that on the camera so you see so even if I put this d-pad you can see like I really need a lot of a lot of movement here so I've tried different parts try to hold but it doesn't it didn't work it didn't work at all so I'd have to uh, throw this ID and uh, find something else so basically um, the idea was let's go more straightforward and have a direction directly press uh, for up down left right so I come up with this PCB so already the uh, close up to the PCB and uh, basically you will have to use um, mice uh, micro switches uh, I went with with the uh, Omron blue so this is the same as uh, Razer mouses uh, so I think it's uh, 50 million clicks or something like that uh, this is a prototype PCB the PCB I'm going to put on the description is going to be a bit different because uh, when I put together um, the full d-pad you're going to see um, I will have to make some modification uh, for example like slightly bigger hole so you don't have to force when you place the micro switches also the connector I use this one is the um, GST XH which is too big for the uh, watch in inside the Hori so I will have to replace it with the Hori uh, not Hori but uh, GST PH I will show you this is a PH and this is a XH you can see this is quite different of uh, the spacing uh, it doesn't seem much but inside a really cramped uh, joystick you, every piece of uh, um, hardware you can shrink down this is really uh, this is really make a difference on how you can be tidy inside so yeah we have to change that I will have to make it a slightly uh, more on the left maybe directly on the bottom you will understand why and uh, this is the final product so as you can see I reuse the d-pad and the uh, let's say the red closing I don't know the name I can name it and this is how this is assembled so basically you get the bottom part again this is a prototype I still have to uh, make one with the hole right now this is just a mask uh, so I can drill and close uh, the top part it has a weird shape uh, the thing is there this is for the PCB to have the connection but again this is big too large um, you got this one I will explain that later so basically you just put that on the top like that you get like standoff and the reason I kept that is on the original cross this is the original cross from uh, the Ori Van Incomino 4 you've got this prong which is really nice because I can still have the lever action so I cannot press two direction at the same time like two opposite direction at the same time I can have like 
full side circle or quarter circle for motion which is really nice and I still have those uh, prongs to press on the micro switches so I should have a nice clicking sound I hope this is going to be catch by my microphone and of course we get the cross holder on the top so it's sitting on the PCB and it, pro it prevents my cross to spinning and of course I got the uh, top piece there you go and it will be hold with the screw here so as I say maybe a bit longer here or maybe on the bottom to have a nice uh, clearance to plug everything um, the thing is I wanted to have something like that because if I put a real uh, the same connector uh, GST PH like that that means you can use that on an unmodified uh, or refining commander which means you don't have to go to all the modification if you don't want to because this is really complex it's really tedious but this one you can just like I don't know print the PCB and the part keep the cross keep that remove the old d-pad and plug that uh, as a replacement and then you have micro switches Again, if the micro switches, micro switches uh, wear out, unscrew, get back, remove that, plug new, new um, micro switches, put back everything together, and you're good to go. No membrane to uh, get from another uh, dead uh, hurry. It's really more easy for the maintenance, and of course, you get a nice clicking sound. So here's the final product, uh, this is not going to be like that if you ever uh, build one, uh, this is going to be eventually either, even on the bottom or here at least this is going to be um, GST uh, PH so you won't have this ribbon cable, you're going to reuse the ribbon cable uh, from the original uh, Hori. Of course for our build, I've already opened it. So we understand what I mean. I try to remove that. There you go. So again, this is one modified. Is there an original one modified for this PCB? But you're going to have this one. So the only thing you will have to do is unplug, put this one, replug. So of course. Putting that there. So this is why I was thinking to put rather than here to put there because I will have a bit more uh, room even of the, on the original PCB uh, since I don't have the weird uh, unscrew thing to move you know so I don't know, um, I will see but again this is just a prototype so I will have to tuck down the cable not be on the way of closing everything and I can close now And there you have it. As you can see, I cannot push both directions. So, yeah, I'm going to publish everything on the description. Uh, let me know in the comment if you want to me to build kits. So the kit will be the PCB with the micro switch and the correct uh, connector. Uh, and of course the three parts of the uh, top one and the bottom one 
Uh, I hope you like it and uh, well, see you soon. <laughs>